Hi, Monica McGillicuddy here from NHRealtyScoops.com. I'm going to spend a few moments uh, and talk to you about something that might be a tad bit controversial, and that is don't just blatantly take the advice of the SEO expert. You might have hired him. You know matter. Don't just blatantly take their advice. And um, this comes to the forefront because recently I had the opportunity of speaking before the Seacoast Board of Realtors membership meeting, and the topic I talked about was fatal mistakes realtors make in social media. And one thing I see often and over and over again is, is realtors just running with what is often well-meaning advice from an SEO expert, but the thing that we have to remember is that SEO expert is oftentimes not a realtor. They, in many cases, have no idea as to the regulations, the rules, and the restrictions that as realtors we have to abide by. State law, the code of ethics, Article 12, advertising, you know, even in the sense of when we talk about schools or being able to walk to areas, we have to be so careful, or churches, we have to be so careful that we're not crossing that line for discrimination or steering. And when we talk about, you know, real estate on the net, on the net and an SEO expert builds a Facebook page and a realtor doesn't even have their company name anywhere visible on that, you know, we're in violation in most cases. So state law is certainly different. And I know in New England, at least in New Hampshire and in Vermont, and I believe Maine and Massachusetts as well, when you're talking real estate, you need to make sure that your firm name is readily apparent on your site. And if you're going to be promoting your phone number or your cell phone number, you need to also make sure you have your firm number published as well. So realtors, you know, listening to what is often the well-meaning advice of that SEO expert who's hired to get you found on the net and ranked in Google, you need to take it and you need to think about it practically and you need to apply it to whatever the restrictions, the rules, the laws, the regulations are in the area that you work in. And remember Article 12 to the Code of Ethics. So hopefully this helps. Monica McGillicuddy, NHRealtyScoops.com. See you on the web.